It is a billion dollar business selling fake degrees to people we trust. Some of the buyers, cops, firefighters, teachers, and engineers right here in the Tampa Bay area. In tonight's Eight on Your Side investigation, Mark Douglas shows us who takes the degree mill shortcut. And that really is what it is. It certainly is. Everyone you're going to see in our story tonight, Keith, bought a bogus degree from the world's biggest diploma mill based in Pakistan, of all places. Now, there are probably a thousand so-called graduates living and working in our community. It takes time, money, and hard work to earn a diploma. Unless, of course, you take the same shortcut former Tarpon Springs Fire Chief Rick Butcher did. You've got a degree from Almeda University. Well, I have a piece of paper from Almeda, yes. It turns out Butcher bought his Almeda University degree online from a big corporation based in Pakistan named Exact, the world's most notorious diploma mill. The school doesn't exist. It's smoke and mirrors. Retired FBI agent Alan Ezell started busting diploma scams 37 years ago. He's written a book on degree mills and even bought his own fake diploma from Almeda under an assumed name. I paid $1,000 plus a $50 uh, fee. Butcher admits he never took a test or attended even a single class to earn his BS degree from Almeda. But that's not how college works. I know. That's why I walked away from it. Firefighters across Florida often submit college degrees to earn a pay boost through a state incentive program. But Butcher insists he never profited from his fake diploma. And I didn't benefit in any way, shape, or form from it. Our database of 5,600 degree mill graduates across Florida also led us to Larry Flutie. You're on that list. Holy smokes. How did that happen? We confirmed that Flutie is a Florida licensed professional engineer, but Flutie also claims he earned a Ph.D. diploma from oh, Grant yeah. University, a diploma mill that's vanished from the Internet. Even Flutie can't find his alma mater on the web. I'm shocked. Flutie swears he completed two years of rigorous coursework, but has nothing to show for all his studies except a PDF copy of his diploma. The problem I have is I had a computer crash, and... And I've lost a lot of files. Our investigation also uncovered a VA police officer who submitted his fake Almeda diploma in a failed bid to become police chief in Polk County's Lake Hamilton. And a Hillsborough School District ROTC instructor who admits buying his Almeda diploma without ever cracking the books. But he swears he never used it for his teaching job. They're devaluing everyone's legitimate academic credentials. Alan Ezell says the fake degree buyers on our list helped feed a billion dollar worldwide criminal enterprise. The size is staggering. The, the revenues are even more staggering. The diploma mill trade Ezell and the FBI first busted 37 years ago is now bigger than ever. Honestly, I don't know if it's ever going to end. Pakistan's version of the FBI raided Azak two years ago and arrested all the top executives. Izel says Pakistan even uncovered evidence of the company blackmailing graduates for more money. But a Pakistan judge dismissed the case, and Izel says the company is back in business. He bought his diploma two months ago. <laughs> it's, it's odd because what we were talking about, it's been about a decade or more since right. we first talked about this, and it's still going on. But what can you do to spot a phony diploma well, or an an ad for the, one. The easy thing is you, you Google the school. You look for real street addresses that really exist. Ask a local legitimate school like USF or Hillsborough Community College if they would accept credits from the school. And if they don't, well, there's a tip off right there. And if nothing else, call me. I'll check it out. We'd love to find some more of these folks out there. Now, the biggest share of the diploma mill trade, oddly enough, is high school diplomas. Two to one. Two out of three fake diplomas in Florida, high school diplomas. Mm -hmm. And before we leave, we thought for all the hard work that you do around here, we, we came up with our own diploma for you, Keith. What does that to, stand to for? It's a BS degree, okay. <laughs> Bachelor of Science. Oh, I think okay, that's what I said, Bachelor of Science. Yeah, I thought you were going another direction. No, no, Bachelor of Science. But I'm glad you stuck you, with that And one. you earned it. I'm going to frame this, Mark. I do appreciate it. <laughs> Your wife's a professor. I'm sure she'll want to mount that for you. <laughs> Thank you, Mark Douglas.